Hi, I'm Mrs. C, and this is Math to Find. In this video, I will show you how to divide whole numbers by fractions. Before you begin solving this expression that you see here, I want to remind you that when you are dividing with fractions, all the numbers that you are dividing with must be in fraction form. This means that any whole numbers will need to be rewritten as equivalent fractions before you can begin the division process. So looking at this whole number of 6, you will need to rewrite it as an equivalent fraction by placing the 6 in the numerator and a 1 in the denominator. Now that both of the numbers are fractions, you can begin the division process. When dividing with fractions, you can follow these three easy steps of keep, change, and flip. This means that you will keep the first fraction the same, so 6 over 1 will remain. Then next, you will change the division sign to multiplication, and then you will flip the numerator and denominator in the second fraction of 1 third to 3 over 1. Flipping that second fraction is also known as writing the reciprocal. If you would like to learn more about reciprocals, then check out my video about reciprocals. I have provided a link to this video in the description below. Now that you have completed the keep, change, flip process, you can see that you have just a pair of fractions that need to be multiplied. So we'll start by multiplying the numerator straight across. 6 times 3 is 18. And then we will multiply the denominator straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. As you can see, we have an improper fraction here that needs to be simplified. You can simplify this improper fraction by dividing the numerator of 18 by the denominator of 1. And 18 divided by 1 is just 18. Let's look at this next problem here. It also has a whole number being divided by a fraction. So again, you will need to rewrite the whole number of 4 as an equivalent fraction by moving the 4 into the numerator and placing a 1 in the denominator. Then you will keep the first fraction of 4 over 1, change the division sign into a multiplication sign, and then flip that second fraction of 3 fifths to 5 over 3. The next step is to multiply the fractions. Remember that when you are multiplying fractions, you do not need to find a common denominator like you must do when you are adding or subtracting them. However, if you do decide to use common denominators, you will still get a correct answer, but the numbers that you will multiply with might be larger. So now you're ready to multiply. Let's start by multiplying the numerators. 4 times 5 is 20, and then the denominators. 1 times 3 is 3. Looking at the fraction here, you know that it needs to be simplified because it is an improper fraction. So to simplify, you will need to divide the numerator of 20 by the denominator of 3. 3 goes into 20 6 times with 2 left over. This remainder of 2 will be the numerator, and the denominator of 3 will not change. Don't forget to look again at the fraction part of this mixed number. Sometimes you need to simplify the fraction one more time. But since the numerator of 2 and the denominator of 3 do not share any common factors other than 1, you know that you are done. If you're liking this video content so far, share it with a friend and give it the thumbs up, letting other viewers like you know that you like it. If this is your first time viewing my channel, this channel is dedicated to helping people just like you understand math. So you'll want to click that subscribe button along with the notification bell letting you know when I post new videos. Showing your support really does make a huge difference for the channel. And if you're a returning viewer of my channel, thank you. So as you can see that when you are dividing whole numbers with fractions, you will need to rewrite the whole numbers as fractions, complete the keep, change, flip process, and then just multiply the numerators and the denominators straight across. And then don't forget to check and make sure that your final answer is simplified. Now let's try a challenge. Now this problem might look challenging to you, but if you remember to follow the order of operations, you will know that in order to solve this expression, you will need to divide from left to right. So the first thing to do here is to rewrite that whole number of 5 into the equivalent fraction of 5 over 1. Then, since you need to divide from left to right, the first pair of fractions you will divide will be 5 over 1 divided by 1 half. 
Now we'll keep the first fraction of 5 over 1, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction of 1 half to 2 over 1. Next, we'll multiply the numerators, 5 times 2 is 10, then the denominators, 1 times 1 is 1, and then you will need to bring down that third fraction of 2 thirds. So now you need to repeat the keep change flip process again. You will keep 10 over 1, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction of 2 thirds to 3 over 2. Now you can multiply the numerators, 10 times 3 is 30, and then the denominators, 1 times 2 is 2. The last step is to simplify your product because 30 over 2 is an improper fraction. So you will need to divide the numerator of 30 by the denominator of 2. And 30 divided by 2 is a whole number of 15. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of how to divide a whole number by a fraction. You can check out more of my math videos about fractions at Math Defined. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.